Nobody ever wants to talk about heaters because they're boring. But they do have a very particular set of skills. And they will fail. And they will nuke your tank. Let's go. What's up, coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. This is Five Minute Friday, where I lead you into the weekend with a tip trick or gadget to help you along in your reefing journey. What is your favorite gadget in the hobby? Take a quick second, comment below. What is something that makes maintaining your reef tank a lot easier? I'd love to know. Leave it in the comment section below. Today we are talking about heater redundancy and making sure that you are prepared when disaster strikes because it will strike. I'm no expert in this field, so I wanted to bring somebody in who I look up to in the hobby and someone you should follow along with as well. His name is Jim. You may know him as at Telegram on YouTube and Instagram. Well, hello there. It is the one, the only Jim at Telegram on Instagram and YouTube. How you doing, man? Good. Thanks, Remy. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I feel like uh, a lot of reefers have gone through a lot of stuff over the past week with uh, Texas and everything. And I know you've been talking a lot about uh, power outages and kind of being prepared for the worst case scenario. But uh, I recently had some heater issues on my end. And I remember you talking about in your stream the other night about heater redundancy and how important it is to have some extra heaters on hand. Can you kind of explain your philosophy on that? Yeah, totally. People really don't even think about uh, a heater going bad until the heater goes bad. There's also, there's also the point that People don't think about what if my house is cold if your house is other than it normally is maybe your house is 65 to 70 something your heater has to work the way it always works but what if your house is 50 degrees 40 30 even as uh some folks uh unfortunately had to experience in texas if you have power if you have a generator you have that covered that's awesome but if you only have the heaters that are in your tank then you're totally going to lose it you're not going to be able to maintain that temperature so you have you have heaters on hand and i was kind of impressed by the amount of heaters extra heaters that you have and you kind of made a good point though because they're 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 fairly cheap the element part of it is a, is a fairly cheap investment right yeah totally this is it's a 300 watt heater and it's probably 35 dollars somewhere around there 35 40 bucks and and i and like you say i i have several of these hanging out just in case uh some new some used but uh, I want to be able to duplicate the already dual heaters per system that I'm running downstairs. And I want to be able to do that very quickly. So I just had a thermostat fail on me. I'm not sure if it was the, the actual uh, the controller or if it was the temperature probe, whatever it is, it was reading 99. So the heater was just off. So I noticed it when it was the tank temperature was at like 67. Everybody was pretty upset with me. Uh, most of the corals were, but uh, do you have redundancy when it comes to like your ink birds or your controllers as well? Yeah, I totally do. So I'm using, uh, well, there's several controllers downstairs that are paying attention to multiple tanks. Uh, but I, I mean, I have just as many spare ink birds laying around as I do heaters because you can... You can, you can run an ink bird by itself. You can run an ink bird plugged into another ink bird. So you have that level of redundancy of having two controllers with your heaters. Totally something I would recommend. Or a single ink bird plugged into a controller. Either way, as long as you have two levels of temperature control redundancy, not redundancy, two levels, one level of redundancy, two levels of temperature control, it has to work. Your system has to work really hard to mess up temperature. And then one last question real quick. Uh, I have yet to make a five minute video yet on five minute Friday, I'll go over. I don't have, I'm not running two heaters at a time on any of my tanks. Would it be wise to step that up and run two heaters yeah. on all of my tanks? Absolutely. Yeah, and it's two of the of like wattage because if you, I, I, I have a 300 watt I think in the frag tank. If I lose that, then the spare 300 watt that's running off a dual ink bird setup will pick up that load. Uh, something's going to alarm. One of the controllers are gonna let me know that the temperature's off. So that helps me at least be able to react uh, when I can. But ultimately the point is not to have to react immediately because you have that redundancy in heating. 
You don't have to, it's just one last thing you have to worry about until you get home. Jim, if you could uh, plug your channel. I know you, you talk a lot about the technology side of the reefing hobby on your streams, and I find it fascinating, and I think you're a smart guy in that regard. So can you kind of go ahead and plug your channel and where we can find more about you on Instagram and YouTube? Yeah, cool. Thanks. Always Telegram, T-E-L-E-G-R-A-H-A-M on Instagram and YouTube. I enjoy using uh, quality equipment. I enjoy finding inexpensive alternative equipment trying to keep reefing reasonable it doesn't have to be an expensive hobby all right well thank you jim for your time i appreciate you man yeah thanks remy thanks for having me on i want to sincerely thank jim for being on the channel he does some really valuable stuff in the space of lighting and technology and a whole lot more i think i would classify him as a world-class tinkerer tinkerer he likes to tinker with things. I have yet to actually hit the five minute mark, so I apologize for that. So these are kind of a little bit longer than five minutes. I hope that's okay. But I will strive every week to hit the five minute mark just for you because I wanna be cognizant of your time. Let me know if you have any suggestions for five minute Friday topics and you might be featured on the channel. This five minute Friday is powered by the best reefing podcast in all of the land, the Reef news network podcast if you have not subscribed you need to do that because you can just think and eat and breathe and sleep reefing you can live it in your car you can listen to it while you're doing maintenance on your tank they're always there for you peter and jeremy they're great guys they put out a great podcast go check it out i brought this heater element this heating element out but it is disgusting i did not clean this before i brought it onto this table which has made just a whole calcified mess it's just a dang calcified mess over here. Have a good weekend. Stay safe, and I'll see you next week.